Hi, in this video I will explain how gradient descent works and for this purpose I will use a very simple example. First of all, we need to know what is gradient descent. It is an optimization algorithm to find the minimum of function. We start with a random point on the function and move in the negative direction of the gradient to the function to reach the local or global minimum. Let's start with example. Uh, we have a function i equal x plus 5 in square. And step number one is to choose a random point. And let's say the first random point in our example is x equal minus 3. And then we have to find the gradient of the function. And the gradient of the function is a derivative of the function. And it equal to 2 multiplied by x plus 5 in brackets. It is a very simple function, so we can to calculate the derivative of this function just by moving the degree of uh, uh, argument to the beginning between brackets and we have 2 multiplied by x plus 5 and this is a gradient of the function. Step number 2 and in this step, we have to move in the direction of the negative of the gradient. But how much to move? For that, we have to define a learning rate. In our example, learning rate is 0 0.01. Step number 3. In this example, we perform two iterations of gradient descent for understanding the logic of how gradient descent works. Let's begin with initialization of parameters. We have x0 equal to minus 3. We have a gradient function is 2 multiplied by x plus 5 in brackets. And we have a learning rate is equal dot equal 1. Let's start with the first iteration. We have x1 equal to x0 minus learning rate multiplied by gradient. Put the values in correct places. We have a function like this. Minus 3 from x0 minus 0 0.01 is learning rate multiplied by 2 multiplied by the gradient is minus 3 plus 5. This is a random point, this is a learning rate and this is a derivative or gradient of the function and we have a result minus 3.04 when we choose learning rate 0 0.01 uh, we move in the opposite direction by this step and we have the next value in x-axis equal to 3.04 iteration number 2 for iteration number 2 we have to perform totally the same action as we did in iteration number 1. So we have a function x2, this is the second point in x-axis, equal to x1. In the first iteration it was x0, now we have to put x1 minus learning rate multiplied by the gradient. Put the values in the correct places and we have x1 equal to minus 3.04 from the first iteration minus learning rate is 0 0.01 multiplied by 2 multiplied by minus 3.04 plus 5. We have the second point in the x-axis by step of 0 0.01 and we have minus 3.04. 0792. This is the next point from the second iteration. In order to reach global minimum, we must perform more iterations and we have to perform exactly the same action for each iteration to get more values on x-axis till we reach global or local minimum. In this example, we have a global minimum x equal minus 5. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that it is useful for deep learning beginners and good reminder for experts. See you on the next video. Thank you.